name is Shalewa Lalude. Uh, I'm an assistant professor at Texas Tech uh, University uh, here in El Paso. I'm uh, one of the clinical cardiologists here on staff. I'm Dr. Lester. I, I work here at Mayo Clinic in Arizona, and thanks for taking the Telemedicine time. Telemedicine is the, the future uh, in medicine. Uh, um, a lot of institutions now are using telemedicine uh, to provide outreach services to uh, centers that cannot be fully staffed with the full complement of specialists. Do you find it's more difficult to go for a walk or do things after you've had something to eat? Uh, no, sir. In our case, um, we had a patient uh, who had been a little bit challenging and uh, had been taken care of by several of us cardiologists here on staff. And um, we were contemplating um, maybe a referral uh, to the Mayo Clinic. Uh, but when I talked to the physician over there, he suggested that maybe we could do a telemedicine consultation instead. We were able to have this consultation where um, the physician was able uh, to see the patient. The patient was also able to see the physician. Uh, we were all able to talk to the physician. And we were also able to stream live echo. So we were performing a live echocardiogram on this patient and it was being beamed across um, to the physician in Mayo, and he was able to see exactly what we were seeing and give us some thoughts um, on how to manage this patient. So when you're walking and you get short of breath, do you get that pain as well at the same time or usually at different times? It's different times. This is a gentleman who has a long-standing history of hypertension and also atrial fibrillation. Okay. And um, the issue at stake was whether he had just straightforward hypertensive heart disease or a more complicated genetic condition called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Uh, sometimes um, they're similar in the way they behave and they present, but there are some subtleties uh, that help to differentiate between the hypertensive heart disease and the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, which was where this um, Dr. Mayo Clinic was able to offer some guidance. Let's put a caliper from here to, to here. You won't have to measure the septum. Yeah. Septum. It was literally like that doctor was here. Uh, the main advantage is that obviously the patient doesn't have to travel all the way to this other institution uh, to get the consultation. Uh, the other advantage is that, like I said, we could stream live echo. Um, he could also listen to the patient's heart sounds because there's a stethoscope that is attached uh, to this equipment and we were able to um, place the stethoscope on the patient's chest and um, the doctor in the other institution could hear his heart sounds and come to his own conclusions. This is almost certainly not the genetic form of the disease. Nothing. As a physician myself, you know, there is no substitute for being able to see the patient, uh, ask him questions directly, and even listen to his heart sounds and see the echo. Um, yes, you can get, you know, you can get information from other doctors, but if you're able to see and make up your mind for yourself, it makes all the difference. You know, without the patient having to pack up you know, drive down there, buy a plane ticket, you know, think of somewhere to stay when they get over there in addition to, you know, all the other health care costs that they have to incur from the consultations. I think that aldactone is a great medication. ACE inhibitors are a great potential therapy because of their potential pleiotropic effect. You know, telemedicine plays a very big role because you can reach uh, a larger population of people using the same number of doctors. The beauty of these robots is that they're very easy to manipulate. Uh, it's as simple as having a laptop on the physician end, a joystick uh, to move, uh, you know, for the mobile form of these um, robots to move them around. And um, like I said, it's simple. I mean, the patients love it uh, because uh, they feel that you know they're getting the extra care that they need, and they can they feel like they can develop a relationship uh, with this other physician. Um, like if he was just there.